Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. From a new location, we have a brand new save point, so we got a different garage to play around with, and even better cars to drive. Let me be the first to, uh, to uh, welcome you to the year of 2013, and believe me, today is story time if I've ever had a damn time for it. Last night was an absolute storm of shit, if I've ever had to say anything ever in my life before. So <laughs> let's just get down to the get down to the old nitty gritty here, because last night was just something. That's 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 what it boils down to. So let me let me get my mission here, and then we'll we'll move on. Oh yeah, it's this this thing. Yeah, we got to go kill Salvatore. Blah blah blah. Don't let him get to where he wants to go and so on and so forth get to the thingamajig so I go to this New Year's New Year's Eve party at, uh, at Maddie's house and uh, you know everything's all it was it was pretty much one of the classic cases of it's all fun and fine and dandy until it's not anymore because you know it was all it was all cool until like about 1210 like everybody was having a good time and you know, it was just a, a nice little party until, like, midnight, and then all these other, like, random people started showing up that none of us really seemed to know, which was kind of weird. Where everybody's like, uh, okay, do I know you? <laughs> like, some some of the people knew him, but, like, they said that they wouldn't bring people with them, yet they did it anyways. And we're just like, I don't know what's going on right now. It's all kind of weird. I need to get over to this other side where this... Ah! I need to get over here where the whole bridge is back the old Callahan bridge to get me back over to the good place so we can fight the good fight some more wherever it is I can find my way over there that would be nice here we go I think this will do it sure will we're gonna I'm gonna try to not you know have this end the same way I did last time where I drove my car off the jump here and ended up blowing it to smithereens but yeah it was it was cool like we had champagne and you know, everybody was drinking and having a good time, and then it got to a point where it wasn't really, like, it was starting to get a little bit out of out of hand. We had one guy that, you know, passed out in the garage and threw up everywhere, and then he passed out for like four hours, and there was another girl that threw up everywhere, and she passed out for a while, and then she just kind of like disappeared, and then we had people that were, there are definitely a couple of girls in this said group of people where... You know, it definitely, uh, it definitely turned into this whole, like, uh, frisky, kind of, like, lesbian display of affection randomly because they were really drunk and didn't know what they were doing type of thing. It was, uh, it was, it was something. We'll put it that way. Where? Oh, that's, that's where his, that's where the place is. I need to not be there. It's not a, not the place to be. I should probably actually go around. So yeah, it was it was something. Like they were they were going at it and doing all that jazz and it was, you know, hard for us not to watch and be like, yeah, this is kind of kind of interesting cuz we would have never envisioned either one of the two of them doing that. That's one reason why it was so weird. We're just like, what the hell's going on right now? Like this is actually happening. <laughs> they're actually doing this. And then uh, after they're done with that, one of the girls throws up on the bed. And then it, that's when it started spiraling out of control. Then we had to like get her into the bathroom, and then um, and then she started throwing up everywhere and making really weird noises in the process. Like her heating noises were hilarious. They were like, Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> it was it was classic. Okay, I got an idea for this. Salvatore is now leaving, so I'm gonna yeah bust out my sniper rifle for this. See if maybe I can like pick him off from here. That'd be so awesome if we could do it. Cause for some reason those guys can't see me. I don't know how they can. I don't know why that's why does it keep doing that? That shouldn't be doing that. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna have to hold the, the zoom in button. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get you. Yes! Right in the pie hole! <laughs> what the hell? Why are those guys just standing there? They're just like, oh, well, he's dead, I guess. We're just, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Oh, Salvatore's dead. We don't have a leader anymore. I guess we're just going to do whatever we want. Wait a minute, are these new missions? Hold on a second. Oh, no, this isn't new. It's not new at all. We've already done that before. Oh, well, 
No, I don't. I don't even want to do that. I don't even want to. I don't even want to like have anything to do with that right now. I just want to go back over to the other place and you know, what's done is done. Like, do I actually have to participate in this? I don't even want to. Eh. Oh well. I guess I might as well. I mean, it's it's here. Not to mention it gives me you know more opportunity to talk about this. But yeah, so. That whole thing happened, she went and puked everywhere, and then we had people that were starting to like fight with each other, one of which was this girl, she was like trying to, she had this idea in her head that she was going to leave and drive, even though she couldn't even stand up on her own, and one of the other girls who was quote unquote trying to help, doing a really shitty job at that, because, you know, she was just like, not even, not even like remotely being resourceful at all, she was just like standing there talking to people while we're you know, trying to get everybody set up and, you know, into a place where they can, you know, be safe and not, like, you know, drive and die. And so, I'm sitting here trying to get this girl, you know, back into the bedroom so I can, you know, get her to pass out and whatever, and she's like, she's like no! No, I just want to go home! I want to go to bed! I was, like, I was like, okay, first of all, you can't even stand up. How do you, how do you figure you're going to drive? She's like, I don't even care! I just want to get out of here! And I was like, I was like, you're not going anywhere, okay? This is what's this is what's going on. You're going, you're gonna follow me. I'm gonna put you into bed. You're gonna fall asleep, and you're not gonna fight with me because I'm like, you know, a foot and a half taller than you. So it's just, it's not gonna, it's just not gonna happen. And she's like, everybody's laughing at me. I was like, nobody's laughing at you. <laughs> There's literally, oh, what? What? All right. I guess my car is just going to explode, and that's the end of that. Nope, nope. Give me your car. Who shot my car? Like, I don't even know what happened. That guy literally shot the gas tank, and that was the end of that. That was that was all she wrote. And now I'm in third. That's just great. So, yeah. she like She's, like, sitting there, like, not acknowledging that I'm trying to help her. And then it goes from, you know, from me, like, What the hell is going on? Why does my car keep, like, engulfing in flames? This is ridiculous. It's kind of pissing me off. Like, these guys are like experts at shooting my gas tank and it's it's not cool not cool dude not cool so I'm gonna go grab this car and they're gonna do the exact same thing to that I don't even know why I'm still doing this but I guess I don't really have a choice so yeah she just like and she like decides to fall onto the ground while I'm you know still sitting here trying to trying to help her out so that she can you know fall asleep and stop throwing up everywhere and so I pretty much was like you know what I was like, forget this, you know, why am I even bothering this right now? So I just, I decided to just like, pick her up off the floor and carry her back in the other room. And she's like, throwing like these really weird like, half punch slap things that aren't even hitting. They're just like, it, it looked more like she was like, flailing her arms in the air, more or less. And then, you know, I finally got her in, I finally got her, you know, into bed and then she like, immediately passed out, like within like, seconds. It's like, aha, see? See? This is what happens when you let me do things. This is what happens when you let me take care of people. Then the things actually happen. And then it ended up being, you know, like I was gonna leave at like 1.30 in the morning because I had to work at 10. I had to work at 10. That was that was that was great. So it went from that into, you know, I didn't get home till four. But at least I got McDonald's breakfast out of it. Then I had to wake up at you know I had to wake up at eight and then go into work at ten. And then I come to find out during the course of the evening, by the way. I just called me a carpet muncher. That's not very nice. But yeah, it turns out that, you know, during the course of the evening at about 11.30, before, you know, before the New Year's even started, we had this whole thing going on with uh, the, the shopping, the little shopping district that my store is in. Somehow there was a gas leak in one of the stores, which resulted in this huge, like, a, this huge explosion that triggered this giant fire in my... Whoa! How is my car blowing up all the time now? Like, what's going on here? I don't get it. Like, it went from these guys barely, like, barely being able to do anything to they literally blew up four of my cars without even trying. What a, what a shitload of fuck. But yeah, so it was crazy. It was literally, I, like, I got a text from my brother saying that one of his friends told, uh, hit him up and he's like, hey, I'm, um, your, uh, your shopping mall is on fire right now. And we're like, what? And so we had to go drive down, like, we had to, my my dad drove down there to check on everything to make sure that it, it wasn't our store, of which it wasn't. It was actually on the eastern side, like, it was like this little, little Hispanic deli or something, and there was like a gas leak, 
and then like a little electric electric deal like you know triggered the explosion and everything got completely out of hand and uh, it was just all bad and so it spread to like four or five businesses and ended up being like four or five stores ended up getting completely destroyed and there were like they had to block off all the streets and there was like 13 or 14 um, 13 or 14 um, fire trucks that had to show up to try to contain the fire and so there's like oh, it's it's just a total mess everything's just in complete shambles out there right now and so all the customers that I had coming in today everyone was like oh my god I'm so glad that you're store didn't blow up because we really need you out here and blah 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 it was exactly like that actually I don't remember where this bridge is right now I gotta I gotta jump back on the old O'Callahan bridge so I can get the hell out of here I gotta go I gotta go talk to weird lesbian Chinese lady right now okay here we go the bridge is over here lower the bridge so yeah, let's just, if you were to ask me if I, if I truly enjoyed my New Year's Eve, I would definitely tell you that I did not, because, and, and it's, it's always, it's always, you know, fun and, and whatnot until it ends up turning into this whole thing where you just have to babysit people all day, but there were, there were some funny moments, uh, there were a couple of funny moments, we, there were, there were some awkward drama things that had potential of, of, you know, stirring up, but it didn't, it ended up not happening that way, but still, still. It was all sorts of things that just we did not expect to have happen. The, 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 pretty much the mantra of the night was, was yeah, that happened. And it was like, it went from being like this little 13, 15 people gathering to like a 35 to 40 person extravaganza of total BS and, and whatever. We told people to not bring everyone, what is it, King Courtney? King Courtney? Is a woman or a guy? Get to the payphone in Espatria. Kind of a weird name for a place. Espatria. Let's hit up this ammunition and kind of get ourselves some more guns, because we don't have any at this point, because I went and got myself killed somehow. I don't really know how that happened. I don't need so so we'll just uh, we'll get all of these well. things. Some body armor, actually. Somebody, somebody tipped me off. That's definitely... Because I, I said it was the thing that you can use to bribe the cops with. It's definitely body armor, which is which is awesome. I'm really glad that's what that is. So that's actually the first time in the game that I think that we've had the opportunity to have body armor. So that's even better. Uh, I will take that all the way to the bank. So yeah. By the way, now that I've got my little story of New Year's out of the way, how was your New Year's? Did you guys do anything fun? Where'd you where'd you watch the ball drop at? Did you even watch the ball drop? Were you did you get your your New Year's kiss? Blah blah blah. Which, oh yeah, by the way, I did not get one of those. That was, that was not part of the equation for me. So, yeah, that's pretty much the story of that. Where the hell is, uh, fucking Dragon Lady at? I'm trying to find her little apartment. There it is, right over there. So yeah, it was, it was, it was something. It was, it was definitely, it was definitely a day for the ages. It really was. All of our, all of the New Year's parties that I go to always seem to have things like this going on where it just ends up being a total shitstorm. But would I trade it for anything else in the world? Well, actually, maybe I probably would. But it was it was eventful. It really was eventful. Well, I don't think I really have enough time right now. I need to go take a shower, and I've got a. I'm going out to get something to eat for lunch because I, to be honest with you, have not eaten a meal since. Actually, it's been about 25 hours now. It's it's really been that long. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hit up the old save station here. And uh, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3 in 2013, uh, we're, we're going to have some more fun. we got some more missions to do here. We have that payphone that we unlocked now, so we can do some stuff. Ow! What? Great. Why do you get out of the car? Why wouldn't you just come after me? Come at me, bro! How did I get airtime out of that? That was kind of weird. Then we'll go dump this car back off in here and then go, go uh, have a nap. Yeehaw. So yeah, this is your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for stopping by and watching this episode of me just rambling on about how my New Year's party was totally ridiculous and how I totally thought that my my business and my entire, you know, family legacy went up in a cloud of smoke, and it did not, so that's good. So hopefully you guys had a nice, safe, wonderful New Year's, and uh, hopefully it was better than mine. And uh, this is AMF1534 saying that I will talk to you guys next time, so take care. And uh, have a good one.